Welcome to the video on cluster analysis, mainly grid-based methods. Grid-based approaches are popular for mining clusters in a large multidimensional space wherein clusters are regarded as denser regions than their surroundings. The computational complexity of most clustering algorithms is at least linearly proportional to the size of the data set. The great advantage of grid-based clustering is its significant reduction of the computational complexity, especially for clustering very large data sets. The grid-based clustering approach differs from the conventional clustering algorithms in that it is concerned with not with uh, data points but the value space that surrounds the data points. Five basic steps of grid clustering would include the following points. Creating the grid structure, calculating the cell density of each cell, sorting of each uh, according cell according to their densities, identifying the cluster centers, traversal of neighbor cells. Basically, it assigns objects to the appropriate grid cell and compute the density of each cell and eliminate cells whose density is below a defined threshold T. Form clusters from contiguous groups of dense cells, usually maximizing, uh, minimizing a given objective function. Some popular grid-based clustering methods are Sting and Click. In this video, we are mainly concentrating on the Sting algorithm. In the Sting algorithm, the spatial area is divided into rectangular cells there are several different levels of such rectangular cells corresponding to different resolutions and these cells form a hierarchical structure. Each cell at a high level is partitioned to form a number of cells of the next lower level. Statistical information of each cell is calculated and stored beforehand and is used to answer queries. Uh, the following diagram shows the hierarchical structure for string clustering. The area is divided into rectangular cells and a hierarchical structure is employed. Let the roof of the hierarchy be at level 1, its children at level 2, etc. A cell in level i corresponds to the union of areas of its children at level i plus 1. Each cell has 4 children and each child corresponds to one quadrant of the parent cell. The root cell at level 1 corresponds to the whole spatial area. The size of leaf level cells is uh, dependent on the density of the objects. In addition, a desirable number of layers can be obtained by changing the number of cells that form a higher level cell. Assuming the space of two dimensions, it is uh, easy to generalize the hierarchy structure to higher dimensional models. In two dimensions, the hierarchy, uh, hierarchical structure is illustrated in the figure shown. This slide shows uh, the working of Sting algorithm, starting with uh, determining a layer to begin with. For each cell of this layer, we calculate the confidence interval or estimated range of probability that this cell is relevant to the query. From the interval calculated above, we label the cell as relevant or non-relevant. If this layer is the bottom layer, go to step 6, otherwise go to step 5. We go down uh, the hierarchy structure by one level. Go to step 2 for those cells that form the relevant cells of the higher uh, level layer. If the specification of the query is met, go to step 8, otherwise go to step 7. Retrieve those data fall into the relevant cells and do further processing. Return the result that meet the requirement of the query. Go to step 9. Find the regions of relevant cells, return those regions that meet the requirement of the query, go to step 9, and then finally stop. The advantages of a sting clustering are as follows. Uh, it is a query independent approach since the statistical information exists independently of queries. The computational complexity is O of K big O of K, where K is the number of grid cells at the lowest level, usually uh, 
k less than less than n where n is the number of objects query processing algorithms using this structure are trivial to parallelize when data is updated we need not recompute all the information in the cell hierarchy instead we can do an incremental update that was about grid clustering and one of its type stink clustering algorithm thank you